Well, guys, that's, that's the last box there for the day. Uh, you know, I ended up with three really nice smart in the day. Uh, three big males, uh, really nice color to them, nice and dark. Uh, so I'm really happy with that. You know, it just feels good to be evacuated on the trap line. Uh, you know, it was mild today. Uh, uh, you know, we don't actually have a lot of snow for this time of year. We, we got snow early, but uh, been a while since we had any. And now what we did get, like, you know, settled and everything else. And uh, so it was a different kind of a year, but... Uh, Anyway, I'll be back with on trap line again tomorrow, and uh, we'll see how that goes. Well, guys, uh, today is uh, January the 12th, and looks like I got my first Merton of the day here. Uh, oh, a little bit careful. I might be stuck on a little tiny bit, see? Oh, no, I just hooked down there. Always good, you know, to get the first one, you know, of the day, so... Uh, so hopefully uh, I just need to last. <laughs> well guys, I just got my uh, second Martin there and uh, looks like there's a lot of fox activity around here. Uh, I guess I'm pretty lucky, you know, that uh, I never had this little fox poop over there. So I'm lucky I never had this one eat, I guess. So uh, I'm very fortunate there. So I'll take, I'll just take this one and move on, I guess. Well, look at that. I had, uh, I had that box there for about oh, three years. I never got a Martin. Or two years, never had a Martin, so I never setting up last year, and then I decided to uh, setting up again just to give it a try. And look, I got a Martin finally. Oh yeah, nice, nice headshot. And you can see the old box was here while the uh, shrews and mice and stuff got nice to have been chewed away there. And I got a bit of, uh, bit of beaver fat there for bait. So anyway, that's great. Uh, hat trick yesterday, a hat trick again today, and uh, who knows? Uh, uh, could be more yet before this day in. So uh, so anyway, uh, it was great, you know, to be seeing these Martins hung down again. Uh, man, it really gets you excited. <laughs> well, uh, I guess this will be the last trap for the day. Uh, you know, ended up with uh, two hat tricks now, uh, two days in a row. So can't really complain with that. And uh, but before I go, you know. Uh, Here's a picture. This is uh, Noah Keynes, and uh, this is the cousin's young fella. He's an avid outdoor person, and uh, you know, hunting and trapping. And this is his first red fox. So, congrats, uh, Noah. Well done. And uh, I guess you're hooked on trapping now. <laughs> so, uh, if you wanted to, you know, next year when you're done uh, trapping for the season, uh, take a picture of your year catch, send it to me, and I'll, I'll add it to another video. So. Uh, and also, you know, when I was in Makovic there, I made some uh, seal blood puddings and another trapper there, Tony Anderson, uh, he wanted to give him a try. So I brought some over to him and uh, when I went through the door, he was making some Merton boxes. So, uh, you know, it's always uh, cool to see what other uh, trappers is up to. So this is his style of boxes that he's making now and uh, I'll finish this video off, just let this clip play out here. So guys, like always, thanks for watching and until next time. Uh, last night, me and my cousin made some uh, seal blood pudding and uh, so we're about to piece over to uh, Tony Anderson. He's a fellow trapper and uh, come over for a little chat and look what I walked into. He's making a few Merton boxes and uh, it's the first time I've seen this style of box. Hey, how are you? Uh, the wire from Goose Bay got uh, uh, two the sides cut out and the uh, bottom and the top. And I just drill a couple of holes on each side and stick up the wire, wire it on on each side and then put the top on and here is, uh, okay this one here this is one that's done now or this one here I think yeah okay this one here is a finished finished thing yeah and it's uh, pretty neat because it's yeah you, you can flatten them out hey yeah, yeah easy to carry you can you put a pot of those <laughs> Wonky in the box and stuff, and you just hang your bait on here. On the, I usually use the onion bag, oh, yeah. put uh, the little uh, ones that the onions comes in, and put it in there and fold it up and hook it onto the wire. Oh yeah, so that's pretty great. That's cool because uh, I walked right in on this one, and uh, it's a pretty interesting design. So so I had to show it. Uh, yeah, it's pretty I've cool. I've used them before. Yeah. But great too, I suppose. Pretty. Like it, the 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 scent of the bait and get it travel yeah. good too, right? Yeah. Air passing yeah. through. Like when the spring goes in, like it draws the wire in the soft and it stays there, like it oh, yeah. won't come out there. Eh? Like when you cover your springs up, that's right. Like yeah. it jams in. Like it yeah, I really like the idea how they flatten right out there. Yeah. Like, yeah, for carrying too, that's, that's great because 
you know, we got a tough country to travel around here and, yeah. uh, <laughs> you know, bulky yeah. stuff and stuff. So. You use panel board, anything that yeah. stuff with the line in it is even stronger, I guess. But this year is yeah. scary, quite a few of them. Yeah, sure. Gr great idea, no doubt. I, I, I couldn't pass without shooting a little video. <laughs>